guys, I am back with a new third party, or shall I say bootleg metal build, 172 scale mobile suit. Alrighty, now we have the backpack booster pack. So, I can see the paint job, metallic red, and it's pretty well done. And the detail also, so we got the detail right here. The truster, I think this is metal, yeah. This is die cast, the rest are plastic. And also, you can move this like that. There. So you can pose it a different position. There. Also gonna show you some detail here. Look at that right there. Get the light. Go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install the LED on the uh, two thrusters. So we're gonna take this uh, two LEDs right here. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is take out the this one and just there we go. Blue, red, and turned off. All right, next would be the part of the backpack. Well, on the real, on the uh, Bandai's Jevra Tetra, this is a, what do you call that? A fin, a huge fin on the back. And actually, you can remove this uh, one by one. There. We got one side. And there we go. And this is the connector for the back. Good color separation and the paint is spot on. The only thing is this is plastic. This four are plastic. Even the uh, the base is plastic. Next one we have are these two. These two, if I'm not mistaken, these are the shoulder, the shoulder wings or shoulder flaps. I think yeah it was it's a shoulder flaps on the back there we go and you can see the inner part is detailed with a gunmetal pink and we got a metallic red and metallic white there we go plastic though plastic all right next would be the blaster nothing special no gimmicks they're fixed, but uh, the color separation is, is nice. The way they uh, made it, the detail, yeah, the color separation is spot on. As expected from uh, Mosho uh, Bison Toy. Alrighty, we have here is the shield. You can take this off. There you go. You can separate the top and the bottom. There. Let's put it back. You can see the detail on the inner part. And we have some female pegs here to, att to attach the accessories. I mean the holder. There you go. We have the holder here. There we go. So, also plastic. No, no die cast on this one. But again, the paint job is awesome. Alrighty, but the beam saber, beam sabers. We got four, two different kinds. We have the slicing effect right here, and we have the regular effect. And you can actually remove the hilt. So, yeah, it's removable, but it's tight. So, I recommend. Not to uh, force it out, just try to twist it. Don't bend it because you might gonna break the peg, the male peg. 
okay this is the main body no assembly required compared to the camper where you have to attach the head the uh, shoulder the shoulder and the arms to the main body and this one it's pretty much assembled but again you can disassemble it you can take it off and put it on again so yeah let's get to the LED part of the head maybe you can see it there you need two batteries which is this one right here it's a very tiny battery that you have to attach it uh, to the head right here by removing the upper part of the head so once you put it back, put it in you have just pop this upper part of the head and you are set okay so just like the camper the switch is right here on the forehead actually yeah forehead just push it down you have red and push it again you have green and to turn it up push it again there it's off so yeah that's the feature of the head and again I'm gonna put uh, LED here LED here and LED here same thing what you're gonna do is just pull this back there oh it's heavy because it's die cast so actually it's the best thing to put it is put it right here on the transparent uh, part of the uh, thruster put the die cast back in and this one will lock the thruster in there we go there nice and tight hold on so here we are we got the red and we got blue Let me focus on that one there you go red we got blue and off so we have three LEDs installed there change the color to blue how awesome is that or you can actually remove the shoulder so right there shoulders uh, gimmick right there you can the, the thruster can move up and down sideways you can swivel there we go just like the camper you can remove the uh, shoulder and even though the, the other accessories doesn't have any die cast, the uh, action figure itself is heavy because the inner frame is die cast. The joints are die cast. Do the leg articulation actually is pretty tight. Since it's brand new, it's pretty tight. There. That's far I can go. Knee and uh, there yeah, be careful because since it's brand new the leg is pretty tight I don't want you breaking it there it has a inner and outer rotation ankle you can swivel left and right and can move up and down you can rotate and actually the foot are independent I mean the front and the back are independent so okay. it's tight still tight so but you can there 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 and still detailed and also you can put another LED here which I also have it's the same thing there there we go So now we're gonna put in, we're gonna assemble the accessories. We're gonna start with the two tank canisters. So just stick it right there. Stick it right there, there. And now you have 
extra canister. Well, on the original one, I mean on the Bandai, this is a fuel tank. And next, we're gonna, gonna insert, insert this to this one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. Sit down here, just remove that. There we go. We're just gonna slide this thing. Just be careful though, not to scratch the plastic or the paint. Let's slide that thing. It's pretty much, there we go. And there we have it. Now we're gonna put that aside. And now we're gonna put the shield on the hand. Actually, you need a pointed object like this or a scalpel to uh, pry this off. But you have to be very careful not to scratch the paint. Just pull it off and then there we go. And we have the shield installed. The two flaps or wings. It's either you can put it here on the back skirt or through here like that. Because there's a, also a peg here, a female peg that where you can attach this. So we're just gonna pull the bent out and we are going to insert this. Just like that. Insert this. And there we go. Just like on the anime. And now we are let me zoom that out. We're gonna insert this one through here to the back. So we're gonna take this panel out. Again, okay. it's just plug and play. Make sure not to scratch in the paint. Alright guys, here we have the Vison or Mosho Rose Finch APX 03A Prototype Mecha. That's the name that they gave this action, this uh, Momo suit. We all know that it's the uh, GP04 AGX04 Jebra Tetra, the one that uh, Zima Garahal used in UC0083. Actually, the one that the last is. Uh, fleet stole from the Federation. We all know that the Jebra Tetra is a Federation's mobile suit part of the Gundam project. That's why it's called GP04, which is Gundam Project Unit 4. And also it's based on the uh, Xeon's fast assault mobile suit from UC0080 War in the Packet, the uh, Camper. Overall on this Metal Build action figure, I'm gonna say I think it's a pretty pretty well built, just like the camper. And actually, it's way heavier than the camper. And the good part is cheaper than the camper. The reason why it's cheaper than the camper is because it doesn't need a lot of L, uh, LEDs. It only had eight LEDs compared to the camper. The camper has thirteen LEDs, so that's why the it's uh, a little bit cheaper than the camper. I don't see any uh, defects or paint the uh, overspray. I mean, it, it is well built. The paint is awesome, the metallic paint. Uh, as we know that uh, Vice and Toy or Mosho is one of the best bootleg or third party uh, metal build company. Actually, it's well built and it's not even back heavy even though if you uh, raise this up the action figure will not tilt backwards. It's very stable action figure just like the camper. It's very stable and it is an awesome addition to your display. Even though the accessories doesn't have, I mean, even though the accessory are all plastic, the only die cast on this uh, action figure is the main action figure itself. The inner frame is a uh, die cast just like the uh, camper the uh, joints are die cast uh, again inner frame is die cast though that includes the joints the, on the only plastic on the on the main figure without the accessories are the outer armor 
Even the thrusters, all the thrusters are diecast. For me, it's worth every penny. So there you have it. I think I'll wrap it now. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below or send me a message. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, don't forget to like and share my videos. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.